Hi everyone, and welcome to AutoCAD. My name is Ari, and I'm an AutoCAD professional, and I'm an AEC technical specialist with Digital Drafting Systems. Today, we're going to be discussing Views and the View Manager. We can find our Views in View Manager by going to our View tab right here, and then looking for the name Views panel. We can look at our drop-down menu here, and we can see which views have already been created for specifically the layout space or our model space. So I can click on this view here to go to my main floor plan, and we can see our second floor plan very quickly. Now, only layout space views are available right now, along with our presets, but if I was to switch to model space, those views are not on the list anymore, and we have two model space views instead. Let's click on room 104, and let's look at stair 209. Both views are definitely working as intended. Let's make another view. We have this nice room right here, we have two different ways that we can make a view for it. We can simply navigate over it and we can use our current view that we see right here as our view, or we can define its region later. For now, let's click on new view. And here is where we can choose our current display or define window. We're going to define our window first. We'll make sure that our snaps are off. They are. That way we don't accidentally snap to any lines while we do this. We could snap to different optics if we wanted to. And I'll make this view a little bit past the room up to, I'd say, about there to include that dimension. And that is a nice little defined window. A little bit better than having the extra wide space uh, around the room if I wasn't going to be using this tool. Now we can click Enter. We've defined our window. And if you, this is your first time making views, you're not going to see all the options because of this arrow right here. So make sure that you open up all of your options. Before continuing, let's give this view a name. We'll call it Room 107. We can change its category if you wanted to categorize our views. And we can change its view type. We have still views, cinematic views, and recorded walks. Cinematics and recorded walks are great to highlight moving parts. Now we can change our UCS, or User Coordinate System, if we wanted to. We'll leave it at World right now, which means that it's set to the defaults, and the X and Y axes are at the default right now. We can look at our live section. For now, we'll leave it as none. And we can choose which visual style we want to see every time we click on this view. So instead of just using 2D wireframe, we could use regular wireframe, x-ray, etc. And if we were using 3D objects, we could switch from conceptual to realistic, and so on and so forth. So we'll leave it at current for now. We can also change our background. Here we have different kinds of backgrounds, including solid colors, gradients of different colors, and we can use an image and set that in the back if we wanted to. Saving some properties with view is only applying to views that have lighting. So if you're doing a 3D object and you're trying to render it, then any kinds of lighting settings that you've set for this view, you can save them so that every time you go back to this view, it keeps those properties. If you uncheck this, then any changes you make to the sun or to your lights are always going to change and the view will not maintain those settings. It will just adjust to whatever current settings you have. For now, everything here looks pretty good. There is one very important setting that I've glossed over and that's save layer snapshot with view. What this means is, if you have certain layer settings and layer properties, some layers turn off, some layers only printing or not printing for example, then all of those settings are going to be saved every time you switch to this view. This is good if you want your view to show certain disciplines, such as MEP, architectural, or engineering only, for example. But let's say you're just using this view for navigation purposes. So you set it up early on in your project, and you're continuously modifying different elements in this room. Because you're making new layers, and you're modifying your layers as you go, you don't want to save the layer snapshot. That way, the view will always take you there, and you'll see everything that's current. If you save the layer snapshot, you would only see the different layers and settings that you had when you made the view to begin with. So we're unchecking that. Everything now looks good to go. Let's click on OK. So our view is now ready. Let's test it. Let's pan over and away from that view. Let's go to our view dropdown and let's click on room 107. Excellent. It has taken us to the view. It looks like the define option worked quite well and it didn't have any extra space. Very good. Let's make a view in our layout space. We're going to make this one a little bit differently. Let's zoom in on this area. And what I see here is a very good representation of room 208. So I actually want to leave it just like this. So I've already defined my view. Let's click on View Manager instead of New View. We can always make views through the View Manager as well. 
Here we can see the different kinds of views that we have, our presets, of course, and our different layout views and model space views. Let's make one in the layout. So all we have to do is click on the layout views itself, and then you click on new. And let's call this room name, or view name, room 208. Everything else here is fine. We're going to use the current display instead of defining our window. We do not want to save layer snapshot, but maybe in this case we do because this is a layout space view and we want to see it exactly as it is right now. So we'll save layer snapshot for now. And just to show you guys, we have some shot properties right here. If we were using different kinds of views, such as cinematic, for example, and notice that you can only do a cinematic in layout space and not a walkthrough, um, then you can change your transition type and how long it transitions for. For now, we're just cutting to it. We're giving it a 0.5 second delay. We could actually make it a little bit more delayed, so let's set that to one second. Excellent. And we have the same options as before. We're just going to leave everything as is. Notice that we can't change the visual style right now because that's actually controlled from within model space itself. So whatever style you have here basically applies. And backgrounds also cannot be changed right now. So everything here is ready to go. We have our name and let's click OK. Excellent. Our view is now created, but we haven't seen it yet or applied it yet. So let's click on apply and then OK. Let's make sure that our view works. So pan away from it. Let's click on room 208. Excellent. The view worked as intended. Now to modify views, we can go back to our view manager and we can start to click on one of our views. Let's look at our model view, for example, from 107. And if we wanted to change the name, all we need to do is click within this box right here and we can change, change its name just like this. For example, I can put my initials right after it and click enter. Now that name has been changed. We can change categories through here. So this is a great way to edit your view after the fact. You can also update layers on your view. So if there's any other layers that have been modified after you made the view, and if you saved your view to a layer snapshot, then you can update it quite easily right here. So you don't have to make a new view every time. You can also edit the boundaries of a view if you wanted to. So it's very simple. Let's look at room 208 and layout. There's a few different options here. Some things are here and some things aren't. But we can, of course, rename our view, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So we have some flexibility. And that is Views and the View Manager. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you very much for watching. Once again, my name is Ari, and I'm with Digital Drafting Systems, and we hope you have a great rest of your day.